from the studio that has ruined shows like Death Note, Shira, He-Man, ran off the creators of Avatar The Last Airbender for creative differences and never let us forget that they absolutely promoted their wonderful and inclusive movie, Cuties. Netflix is at it again, ladies and gentlemen, and this one, I have a little bit of backstory with, not as much as most, admittedly. But let's get into Netflix's newest thing that they are planning on defiling in front of our eyes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that would be Gears of War movie announced on Netflix alongside an adult animated series. Yes, let's just put adult in front of everything because uh, that tends to work. Netflix is partnering with the Coalition to develop a Gears of War movie alongside an adult animated series. Uh, can we just stop with that? Netflix tweeted on its official account this morning. Wow, they haven't left? Boy, you figured, you figured they would have... Ski daddled with the rest of them with the way Elon's been acting. Hmm. Well, color me surprised. <laughs> I mean, not about them ruining Gears of War, but, you know, about them absolutely, you know, staying on Twitter. Anyway, uh, Netflix tweeted this morning on its, uh, uh, tweeted on its official account this morning. Gears of War was released 16 years ago today, and to mark the occasion, Netflix has partnered with the Coalition to adapt the Gears of War video game saga into a live-action feature film followed up by an adult animated series with the potential for more stories to follow. Well, if it turns out like any of the rest of the things that you absolutely eviscerated, <laughs> the potential for more stories to follow... <laughs> <laughs> you might have spoken too soon there, Netflix, but we'll see. Series creator Cliff Bl Blazinski. Cliff Blazinski. Why can't they have easy names to say? <sighs> Who recently spoke with IGN unfiltered? Unfiltered. My good lord. Yeah, unfiltered as the freaking access media lets you be. If it was as unfiltered as the access media would let would, you know, likes it to be. Well, we know exactly how filtered it is. Responded by tweeting, Oh, sh I promise not to cuss anymore. Snap. Oh, snap. Or wait. Oh, I got one. Holy shnikes. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. It's unclear if this project is connected to Gears of War uh, movie that has been stuck in development for 15 years. I wonder why Dave Bautista has been, con oh no, consistently attached as Marcus Phoenix. No which he has described as a dream role. Please, God, no. Please, I, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen him in the right movie, but the things I have seen him in... Oh, man. Netflix is getting ready to treat this movie the way that goblins treat women in The Goblin Slayer. <laughs> and for those of you who've seen that show, you know what I'm talking about. Netflix has, announced, has found success with adaptations of properties such as Resident Evil. No. And Castlevania. Also, no. I literally, like, a lot of people were like, yeah, that thing kind of fell off. Though the overall reviews have been mixed, Xbox has found more mixed success with its own properties, with Halo being met with middling reviews and tepid fan reactions. Um, Halo absolutely bombed and made sure that it wasn't worth the toilet paper that they wrote the story on. I love how they do this little gaslighting. Sp oh, it's so amazing. The Gears it series itself has been uh, has been quiet since the release of Gears Tactics in 2020. However, new yeah, it's been overly quiet since like the third one because I mm, some of the others weren't received with the highest acclaim. <laughs> so, however, a new Gears game is uh, known to be in development. Oh boy, ah, and. This is the song that never ends. It just keeps going. Anyway, and as as for the movie, the end animated series, neither have a release date. Well, I hope that they never get a release date, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, Lord! Just when you thought they have to be out of IPs to sink their grubby little hands into and thrust into those childhood memories, they decide to rail another line of coke and go for another one. Now, 
I will admit this, I did not play the Gears of War when it came out when I was a kid because, well, I'm a poor, okay? And I didn't have it. And I also got out of video games around the time that uh, 2 and 3 were coming out. But my friend, my one of my best friends, was like, hey, this is a great game you should play with. So we did the multiplayer, and I played through it with him. And what a fan fantastic trilogy that first trilogy was the characters were well thought out although i thought some of the story beats weren't as surprising as maybe some of the because i got to do the equivalent of like a binge watching or binge playing it right because he literally had all of them so i didn't get the suspense and all the other stuff that happened in the game but i did understand the overall tones of the game which i mean let's be perfectly honest here the tones of the game were absolutely against anything that looks remotely close to you know oil or fracking and how dare you go for the energy stored in the planet plot line which kind of threw me off but the characters weren't good the action was fantastic and overall i thought the games were well done now for those who love the gears franchise i think this is something that's going to go down in infamy unless Netflix decides to do something that would surprise all of us. Actually release a good fucking show. Oh, damn it. I cussed again. Damn it. I cussed again. Damn it. Well, there's four for the swear job. Swear, swear jar, swear job, swear. D damn it. Anyway. It's so hard to talk about this. Without swearing up a storm, ladies and gentlemen, the Gears of War is about to get the Netflix treatment. And the Netflix treatment, as we have seen, comes with this utter mildew-filled, concocted idea of, well, bad storytelling and overly politically injected nonsense. So, unless Netflix decides that they're going to do something baffling and incredible incredible to all of us and we go wow this is a really good series i think they're going to pick up on those you know undertones or those overly strong story elements that were absolutely against energy production in the modern day and they are going to run with that while injecting it with equity and inclusion and just a dash okay okay a hint okay Okay, okay, they're gonna pour the bottle of the feminist and woke agenda on it. Let's just face it, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are excited for Gears of War from Netflix, you have not been paying attention to the shows and series and things that they have already absolutely eviscerated. This is the company that has taken so many IPs. Cowboy Bebop, one of the more recent ones being the, just an absolute travesty and decided that they are going to make sure that they transform it for the modern day era, for modern audiences, for modern blow me. I'm so sick of these studios coming out simply because they have the cash behind them and deciding that they're going to absolutely eviscerate the things that we grew up with or for some of us found them as adults and rather enjoyed them with, you know, except for the, you know, political undertones or, you know, the political baseball bat that they took to your head, and, you know, with the subtle, oh, I mean, overtoned messaging of the games. Anyway, I digress. Can you tell how I feel about things, ladies and gentlemen? But for those who are excited to see these characters realized in real life, well, you're certainly not going to get characterization from Dave Potista. Holy Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I understand he is an actor, could be very excited for a role like this, and this might be a dream role for him, and that would be wonderful if he gets his dream role. But the fact of the matter is, if you're going to combine it with all of the woke agenda, the poor writing, and the messaging that was in the first game combined with an actor that i don't really think has a strong presence on screen i mean what else did he do didn't he do that like zombie that that what was it world war zombie i don't even remember what it was it was some zombie movie that Zack snyder did that was <laughs> anyway um but yeah, we're, we're going to get something as bland and as dull with something that should be colorful, action-filled, and they mean adult, which adults, adult films, that just means titties, ladies and gentlemen, which if I remember correctly, they didn't really have a lot of that in the original three games. But for those of you who are excited, I just want all of you to know 
when it becomes an utter disappointment, welcome to the party. We've been here since about 2015. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I am doing here on A Drink With Crazy, don't forget to go down below and comment. Because whether you love what I'm doing or hate what I'm doing, I absolutely love the fact that you spend the time to comment to me. And I spend a special live stream every Sunday called Sunday Coffee, reading your comments, where I go through all of your comments and do my best to answer them and give you guys my full thoughts on those. So hopefully you guys will comment down below and see your comment read on Sundays. But for those of you out there who just want to do the simple thing and support the channel, hit that subscribe button and like the video for me. And for further instructions on how to follow me, you can listen all the way to the end where I tell you guys exactly where else you can find me. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. And until next time, cheers everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.